Hi folks, it's Mike. Okay, so I was asked by a, a couple of people, they, they come to me, and I, I guess they think I'm smart, I don't know. They, I think they've, they've got me a little bit wrong on this one. They asked my opinion, do I think that this Colorado shooter, this Aurora Colorado shooter, James Holmes, is he going to get off on an insanity plea? And they asked me how would the court de determine that. So there are a couple of things I do know about it. And a couple of things that I think are going to be very much open to interpretation. There's something called the McNaughton Rule. The McNaughton Rule, you have to satisfy two different things. First, you got to satisfy, did the person, whoever committed the crime, did they know that, or did, did they not know that it was wrong? Were they not physically aware that, that their actions were wrong? And number two, did they not know that those actions would have consequences? So, in other words, that that something that there would be a negative punishment. Did they not know that it was wrong? Did they not know there would be punishment? It kind of goes back to, I guess, sort of the, a, a juvenile claim. You know, I didn't know I was not supposed to do that, and I don't know why I'm being punished. It kind of goes back to that. Now, my opinion on the guy, though, here's a dude that is a mathematician, engineer, scientist type guy. Okay, sometimes they do tend to be so smart they're loony. Okay, that's true. And in court, he was acting just really just off the edge. He was just, and at one point he's just like this and just not in it. And in another time, uh, according to the local Colorado TV station, he's looking around like he wants to rip somebody's head off. So, I think it's an act. I think he's doing a bad act. I think he is not going to make it. You know, in terms of not guilty by reason of temporary mental defect or whatever they call it in Colorado. Um, but the law on the on this matter, I mean, I don't know that much about the law. I've been studying the law, and it is now my kind of a, a my vocation is to study the law. But it just doesn't seem like this is going to stack up legally for uh, for James Holmes. I think he's going to end up with uh, really a lot of troubles. <laughs> I think he's going to go to jail forever. And regular jail, not, not the psych ward. And I think he deserves every minute of it. I personally think he knew what he was doing. It appears to have been planned. There was somebody else involved. They, it, there was a blurb in the, in, in the news a few days ago that, that they had arrested somebody else in terms of aiding and abetting and weapons storage and all kinds of stuff. And I don't know how true that is. I didn't get the chance really to read the article, but apparently somebody else had been either investigated or arrested. I think it said somebody else was arrested. But I think he knew exactly what he was doing. I think it was some sort of a revenge thing. I think it was a... a uh, my, I mean, he might have had some kind of an OCD thing with Batman and all that, but I really do think honestly that he he knew exactly what he was doing and I think he deserves the maximum possible I I don't know if in Colorado they they give the death penalty this would be one of the first times I can remember in my life that I would support the death penalty I'm you know a fiscally conservative guy but I'm I'm against the death penalty I think it's useless and no good and doesn't you know, you can kill 900 of them and there's going to be 9,000 more murders. So I don't think it does any good at all. And, yeah, I do think that imprisonment is a different way to do it, a better way to do it, uh, differently than what is being done right now. But I think that James Holmes was sane. I think he was very much aware of what he was doing. He was aware that it was wrong. He was aware that there were negative consequences. I don't think he qualifies under the McNaughton rule for not guilty by reason of insanity. They can put 200 psychologists and psychiatrists on the stand in his defense, and I think he'll still lose because I think he is completely... I mean, he's psychotic. He's obviously a sociopath, but I think he's very much aware of what he was doing. He was very much sane or conscious of it, I think James Holmes uh, is just a plain old criminal. He needs to go to jail, or worse. And I don't think anybody who is... And there, there are people defending him. Poor guy 
you know, whatever. You know what? You you people, you just need to go get a life because this guy killed 24 people or however many. I th- yeah, they charged him with 24 counts of murder. I forget how many counts of attempted murder. So, yeah, he needs to go to jail, and I don't think he's insane. And thank you for asking, but I don't think the law supports him on this either. Have a great day.